Hello and welcome back to my channel. Here we are dealing with topics connected to learning Polish and learning foreign languages in general as well. But today I would like to touch upon something quite different and maybe quite an umbrella term for what we are usually discussing here. Today I would like to talk about what is communication. This is something we don't usually give a lot of thought to. We just communicate on everyday basis and that's pretty much it. We don't really think about it that much. But when you start thinking about this, communication is everywhere around us. So what I'm actually doing right now is communicating with you. So communication, the basic structure of communication is that you have a sender, a message and a recipient. So in this case, I am the sender. What I'm telling you right now is actually the message and you are my recipient. But if you look beyond and above, communication is all around us. So we can talk to each other and we tend to do that with our friends and family and co-workers and our school friends, whoever that might be. So we have send a message recipient. It's quite a straightforward level of communication. But let's look beyond that. You are commuting to work or to school. And there on the road, you may see little signs like a stop sign or whatever else, or the street lights. These are all acts of communication. So whoever it was who decided to set up a certain sign in this certain place, possibly this is a specialist in road traffic management or whatever, they are sending us the message. The sign is the message. The traffic lights are little messages and we are the recipients and we act based on these messages. The same is happening on YouTube or in radio with those who create content. They are the senders and their content is the message and you are the recipients. Let's now look at books. The author here is the sender, the book is the message and the reader is the recipient. So again quite a straightforward level of communication. But let's look then again at films. We have communication between characters, so between actors. Obviously we can see it on a screen, we are not part of this communication. We can see the communication happen. But then again, there's also the director, the screenwriter, and the film is a message, and those who watch it are recipients. So when you look at it, we are surrounded by acts of communication. So let's go a step further, because it's all fun and games when we all speak the same language. But what happens if we don't? Then translation kicks in. And translation is not really much more than an act of bilingual communication. So let's imagine that an author has written a book. I don't know, in French. So we have a French author who wrote his mes message, so his book, in French. But his target audience, so his target recipient, is English speaking only. So the French message would, obviously it can reach the English speaking recipient, but the English speaker would not really understand the message. So what we're having here, instead of a straightforward communication when we have sender message recipient, French speaking sender sends the message in French that reaches a translator. That translator is actually the initial recipient of the first message. Then the magic happens. So basically the translator translates the message into another language. And in this case, the translated message is its sender is actually the translator. It's based on the initial sender of French message, but the sender of the English version is actually a translator, then the message is in English and it reaches the target audience, so the target recipient is the curious and English speaker. So it's quite a more complex situation in connection to the straightforward level of communication. And you may think, why would I need that? I'm not really a translator maybe, or maybe you are, but not French to English, so why bother? This is actually something you can notice once you start noticing communication 
per se. Not only a straightforward communication surrounds us, translation is all around us. So if you are watching a foreign movie, let's say, the movie had to be translated at some point. So one a level of translation is a simple, or it's not simple, but simply a translation of the movie that will go into cinemas. But it's not just that. Before the movie could have been translated, there is a ton of agreements that need to have been written and signed by both parties. So the one on the side of the original country and the one that is buying and translating. So here we have like a ton of agreements, ton of papers that need translation, sometimes interpretation as well. And only then can we proceed to translate said movie. The same goes for books. Yeah, we read several books or we watch a movie a day, whatever. What is the difference, right? Look around the shelves in your nearest shop. It may be different for every country you live in, but... Well, I can tell you about my homeland, which is Poland, and we have like a ton of imported stuff. And by stuff, I mean food items, even yogurts or, or sometimes milk. All this stuff is imported. A lot of sweets come from different countries. So again, to get the distribution, this needed some agreements on a country level to be translated and signed. And then the packaging needed translation, because again, packaging is communication. The producer sends us message about the ingredients and possible allergens or whatever. So it's all translation. Look around your desk. Was the screen that you're using made in your country? Was your computer made in your country? Was your smartphone made in your country? If you answer to any of these, no, let's look beyond that. You're holding a piece of equipment because there was a ton of bilingual paperwork in place just to import said item. And then you had to have the manuals translated and the, the software as well. So this again, a ton of translation and again, a ton of communication. Why I'm saying this to you is basically to show you that communication is not something that is on the margin of our lives and translation as well is not just on the border of our lives. We all live within communication and within translation process. And this is why I'm just sharing my opinion with you, why we should strive to be effective in communication. This has been my goal, like my personal goal for many, many years to be an effective communicator. And this is what I also want to share with you here on this channel. I want to show you how to communicate effectively, to get your point across, because communication is not something we can prepare to do. This is happening in every single second of our lives and in different settings. And I would like to really dive deep into the topic of communication here on this channel. And soon enough, uh, there will be a video coming up on what gives me the right to actually tell you all this stuff. So I will tell you a little bit more about my background, education and um, professional experience in the field of communication, language tutoring and translation. So stay tuned to that. If you enjoy the language communication translation content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button to get updates whenever we post a new video. I hope to see you in the next one. So until then, bye!